2020 has been probably one of the toughest years. What hasn't happened in 2020? We've had fires, we've had flooding, a pandemic. Feels like time is irrelevant. 2020, no doubt about it. We're stuck in the twilight zone or something. Could be better, but it could be a whole lot worse. It's COVID, it was a new challenge. It also brought us back to the basics of what to be grateful for. I'm grateful for my two golden retrievers. Barbies. A date with my wife. The air we breathe. Putting a face mask on, listening to music. Some really good like Selena music and like doing my nails. <laughs> Being able to go to Zoom with my pajamas on. <laughs> I'm grateful for everything. <laughs> Just to live here in Corona, I'm grateful. <laughs> Very grateful for my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Being able to be home with the kids and just appreciate all the small things. My brother Zachary. I'm grateful for my friends. <laughs> Getting to know my kids more. Never. <laughs> grateful for my husband and just the fact that he's good company. Like, I picked a good one. I'm really grateful for just being the fun uncle. <laughs> Family's everything. And I am so grateful for my family. I just surround myself with a bunch of people I love to try to keep positive in these challenging times. Thinking of all the positive things that come from it. Trying to find joy in the little things at home. I definitely appreciate those moments more than I used to. been a nice reminder of what's consistent in our lives. I'm really grateful for you, our citizens of Corona. You always come together and shown incredible selflessness. I'm grateful that we're just resilient and we're finding a way through this pandemic and through these weird times. I am so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for this community and I'm grateful to be a part of it. Just so grateful because I know who I am and I'm awesome. <laughs>